Thanks for tuning in to the Measures of Success Video Practice Buddy Series. I'm Dr. Deb. In this session, we're going to show you the best way to assemble and disassemble your bassoon. This is Matt. He's going to help us through the process by demonstrating why I take you through step by step. As you can see, Matt has not yet taken his bassoon out of the case. He's going to show you how to do this in the safest way possible. And if you do what Matt does, your bassoon will not become damaged when you take it out of the case. If you haven't done so already, place your case flat on the floor, just like Matt's done. Matt's going to make sure that the case is not upside down. Your case might look different from his, but usually there's a logo of some kind on the side of the case that should be on the top and not on the bottom. If your case doesn't have a logo on it, then you might want to check out the latches. When the case is in the correct position for opening, latches should always lift up. Now this case is a little different, although it does have a Velcro pull like Matt's going to show you. Uh, the case has a, has a zipper, which Matt's already undone for us. Uh, but the latch, if you have latches on your case, they will lift up. If you think you're going to, get, going to forget what the correct side is for placing in the upward position, get a really cool sticker and put it on the side that should face up, and then you won't forget. So Matt's going to open the case right now. The first thing he's going to do is to locate his reed inside the case, and he's going to Put the reed in the soaker cup. He's going to put the reed right in that cup that has the water already in it. And he's going to set that aside while he puts the rest of the bassoon together. Now, he's going to carefully pick up the boot joint. He's going to be sure to avoid the key rods so that none of them bend. And then he's going to pick up the wing joint. And he's going to hold it again away from the... Now let's, before we pick up the key joint, look what Matt's doing. He's got a, 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 a nice soft cloth in there. And Matt, uh, you know, he's a really good bassoon player. And one of the things that he told me before we started the video is that he always keeps a rag or some kind of soft cloth between these joints because they sometimes rub together and uh, this keeps them protected. So you might want to check that out on your bassoon too. So he's going to go ahead and pick up that wing joint, just like that. Take a look what he did. He placed the boot directly on the floor and he is uh, he's holding it with his right hand so he steadies it. All right? And now he's going to put the end of the wing joint into the smaller hole in the boot joint opening. Just like that. A little tiny bit of a twist to make sure it's all aligned. And now he's going to hold the assembled boot and wing joint with his right hand. And then he's going to get the base joint from the case, just like that, and now he's going to insert it into the larger boot joint opening right next to the wing joint, and he's going to make sure that they are aligned, and then he's going to lock it. There you go. That's called a body lock, by the way, and it's really important to lock both of those joints together so that they're very secure once they're in the boot joint. Now, Matt's going to hold the base joint with his left hand and using the right hand he's going to grab the bell from the case. He's going to depress the bell key to open the bridge key and then he's going to attach the bell. So let's take a look at that bridge key once he has it on. He's going to push that one more time for them, Matt, so that they can see how that key opens. Excellent. Now, Matt's going to hold the bassoon across his lap while he reaches into the case to get the bogle. He's going to gently twist and insert the bogle onto the top of the wing, wing joint. Now, notice how he holds the bogle. He's holding it at the top so that he doesn't bend or kink the bogle. Just like that, he's going to align it. He needs to make sure that the hole in the vocal button aligns with the whisper keypad. So he's going to do that. And everything seems to be in alignment. Great. Next, Matt's going to attach the crutch, or the hand rest sometimes it's called, to the bassoon. And he keeps his in a nice pouch. There's the crutch. He's going to, just going to attach it to the prop, appropriate place making sure that it's in place, and then he's going to screw it on so that it's very steady and secure. Some of you might use a crutch and some of you might not. If you're in question about whether or not you should use it, 
ask your band director and he can he or she can give you an idea about whether or not you ought to be using a hand rest or a crutch. Now, the bassoon is almost ready to be played. He's going to get the seat strap now. And he's going to connect the seat strap to the boot joint. Just like that. And he's going to sit on it. And he's going to adjust it to a comfortable playing position. We're going to talk more about the adjustment of the, of the strap in another video. But for right now, Matt is almost ready to go. Now he's going to take the reed from the reed soaker cup. He'll get rid of the excess moisture. Just like that, he's going to put on the vocal and adjust it so that it's aligned to his lips. Great. Now, there are many steps to correctly assembling the bassoon, but after you do it a few times, you're going to get the hang of it, just like Matt. If you have questions, you want, might want to come back to this video because this video will be a good reminder. So, how about disassembling the bassoon? Right? The disassembling the bassoon is, is really pretty easy because it's just simply reversing the assembly process. So the first thing Matt's going to do will be to remove the reed. He'll get rid of the excess moisture that may have collected during play. He's going to put it back in his reed holder. Look at his, his bassoon as he does this. It's still in the, in the strap. He kind of holds it to his shoulder and he's going to put the reed back. Very good. Now he's going to remove the seat strap. He's going to put that back in the correct spot in the case. Look how he secures the bassoon on the floor while he puts the strap back in the right spot in the case. Always holding on to the bassoon. The bassoon is a very beautiful and expensive instrument. You don't want to drop it ever. So make sure you always have it secure. Now he's going to remove the crutch. And he's going to put it back in the right spot in the case so that he can find it the next time without having to hunt for it. Now he's going to take the bogle. Remember how to grab the bogle at the top by the curve and gently twisting it out and replacing it again back in the correct spot. He's removing the moisture. Excellent. Next thing he's going to do will be to remove the bell. And remember to open up that bridge key. He'll twist it gently and he'll replace it in the case. And then he'll move to the assembled base and wing joint. He's going to unlock it and he'll remove the base joint first. A gentle twist. He'll replace it back in the case in the correct position. Then he'll remove the disassembled wing joint and he'll return it to the case. And notice he put the the boot joint on the floor while he wraps the wing joint in the nice protective cloth. So if you have a cloth that's exactly what you should do and then he'll gently put the boot joint back in the case. When he sees that everything is in the correct spot, and it is, he can close and lock the case so that nothing falls out. Excellent. Good job. The next Measures of Success video practice buddy for the bassoon focuses on posture, hand position, and embouchure, so be sure to check that out. And now on behalf of everyone here at FJH Music and Matt, I'm Dr. Deb. Thanks for joining us.